guess you want me to narrow it down to one artist. They're all fighting in my head right now. There's a big fight, probably between Kevin Shields, Frank Black, and Bob Mould. <laughs> um, Pixies. Hands down. For me, anyway. Interesting, uh, you know, coinciding with Q's 25th birthday. At the point when the Pixies came out, I was um, very much into the Chicago wax track scene with Front 242, Revolting Cox, Ministry, and all that stuff. And I really wasn't interested in, in you know, rock and roll. And then somebody played me the Pixies. And at first I felt vile. Then I felt violated. And then I thought it was the most brilliant fucking thing to, you know, since sliced bread. And that hasn't changed. It doesn't, it's ageless music. And that's a very rare thing to stumble upon. But, you know, as a, as a listener, let alone as an artist, to create music that's just going to forever stand the test of time. A la Neil Young, the Beatles, Led Zeppelin. I mean, the Pixies are climbing into that echelon, you know, and as time goes on, they'll, you know, there'll be a, a blurry line between, you know, as the decades pass. Charles, I love you. Well, there's this little band, Interpol, that I kind of tinker around with. <laughs> um, 25 years from now, I personally would like to believe that Josh Homie will still be kicking it really hard. I mean, in terms of like contemporaries, he's probably, I have an immense respect and love for what he does and, and the whole band. You know, no matter who they have kind of revolving in and out, there's always top guys as people and then forget about it as musicians. I think, um, yeah, I, Josh, Josh Homie Queens of the Stone Age. 25 years from now, Josh, come on, don't let me down.